Hey guys, my name is Jake and this is a channel all about type 1 diabetes, but honestly, I spend most of my time on this channel just talking about Android APS, which if you don't know what it is, it's Android's version of looping. Uh, it lets your phone control an insulin pump, takes the data from your Dexcom or other CGM and has an algorithm and uses that to tell your pump what to bolus you based on how high you are or to cut off insulin if you're low. It is an insanely powerful tool and I talk about it so much because I love it so much. There's a magnitude of options that you can use with it, with different pumps, different CGMs that you can use. But for me personally, I use my Dexcom G6 with the Build Your Own Dexcom app and I use it to control the Omnipod Dash. And because it controls the Omnipod Dash, I don't need to carry around a PDM or any other kind of medical device. It's just my Omnipod and my Dexcom Omni and then my phone does everything else. I don't need to carry a separate PDM or pump or anything like that. And that is incredible. So anyways, if you're at all interested in building the app yourself or if you've kind of read the docs and you got stuck on a certain part, this is the video for you because I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to get it done. Just a quick plug though before we dive in, I have thought about making this video for like years now, like ever since I've been on Android APS because even with the docs, even though the docs are super clear, I, I can see where people would get stumbled on. And I haven't done that just because it would be such a big time commitment. But I actually had someone comment on one of my videos, hey, I will pay you to do a walkthrough on how to do this. Um, now, I never feel right about putting any content behind a paywall. I really don't. If somebody needs the help, I want to help them just out of the goodness of my heart. But that being said, if you do want to thank me for going above and beyond, especially in this video, I did create a Patreon. If you want to tip me what you think is fair, uh, I'll put that link in that description. Uh, if you found this video helpful, I would love it if you wanted to buy me and my wife dinner and my two-year-old uh, kids meal that he'll probably take one bite of uh, but anyways absolutely not required or expected none of my content will ever be behind a paywall but if you do appreciate me and appreciate what I do and you found this helpful that that is an option for you so just a quick note about patreon real quick though they don't offer just like one-time tips they only offer monthly memberships Okay, uh, it seemed like my only option where I'm not big enough to be part of the YouTube partnership program. Again, like and subscribe to help, to help change that. Uh, but anyways, so if you just wanted to tip me like $5 just this one time, for example, sign up for the $5 plan, wait until you get like an email notification that that tip went through, and then just make sure that you cancel it so that you aren't billed that $5 every single month. Okay, just so that you guys can follow along, um, just Google Android APS, and we're just going to go through the um, building the APK docs. So, first two steps are uh, installing Git and installing Android Studio. So, you click on this first link, it'll give you some instructions, but basically, the, just the main thing you need is just this download link. Um, Download uh, just the standalone installer, uh, whether you're on 64-bit or 32-bit, the vast majority of people are going to be on 64-bit. Um, and then while that's downloading and getting set up, do the same thing for Android Studio. You're just going to go do, uh, Google Android Studio download and then click on that and download it. Um, I already have these downloaded, but I just downloaded them yesterday, uh, April 16th. So if you're doing it anywhere close to that, this will be the exact same. But even if it's updated, you know, process is going to be more or less the exact same. So um, anyways, go ahead and install Git, first of all. And wait until Git is all the way installed before uh, you do anything with Android Studio. Um, and we'll just let Git do the thing and you're not going to change like anything uh, I have this just because I had it previously installed but you probably won't see that not a big deal um, you're not going to change anything just <laughs> just set next pretty much through everything here okay let it run let it do its thing
Okay, so once it's finished doing all that, um, you don't need to view the release notes or even launch it. Just hit finish. Um, you basically just need that app there and running in the background. Um, so now we're going to do the same thing with Android Studio. And again, do this after Git has finished installing. So let the setup go. Estimate change to your computer. Just hit next. Yep. This again, we're gonna just basically just install everything. Okay, so now that we got Android Studio installed, um, first thing that we want to do is we want to go to this customize um, and then hit all settings. What you want to do is go to version control and then get and the big thing that you want to check is make sure the update method is set to merge, um, which it was. And then make sure and um, the three times that I've built this, it's auto detected get, which is good. That's the easiest thing that you want to do. Um, but go ahead and just test it and make sure um, get version 2.4, which is the one that we just installed. That's great. Uh, if for some reason it doesn't auto detect it for you, um, they do go through how to um, manually put it there. Um, just follow the instructions there. But again, you probably won't need to do that. Um, so that's all good. Just hit OK there. And then you're going to go back to the building the APK instructions and the big thing that you need to do here is just get this uh, get this link uh, it's github.com slash night scout slash angular aps and then what you do in android studio so you get projects and get from vcs um, and you're just going to paste that link right there and you're going to hit clone and that will take a minute as well and we'll let that run and check back in once it's done uh, but basically what you're doing so so git basically lets you just get the code from github which is where all that code is stored and you're basically just copying that. <laughs> Okay, so now that that clone is done, um, just an FYI, you may see a little pop-up that says whether you want to trust this project or not. I didn't, but if you do hit yes, tr trust project. You also might have Windows Firewall that want some of the features blocked. It's okay, just to allow access to it. Um, yeah, now that we're in, oh, sorry, Android Studio. Um, we got all the code and everything downloaded. Uh, we're good to go. What we want to do is we want to um, sorry. First thing that we want to do here is we want to go file settings, um, and we want to hit this drop down next to system settings and Android SDK. And you just want to make sure that you have Android 9 installed. If you don't, go ahead and install it. Uh, don't worry about any of the other ones. It's just Android 9 is the SDK version that it needs. Um, once we have that, all right, you. Uh, you might see this message pop up. Do not, any message that you see about having to, to update Gradle or improve in performance or anything like that, just to, just ignore it. Um, it. It can cause some problems. Um, looks like we're all finished and all the code and everything's downloaded. So go ahead and you want to go to the main app. Um, and what you want to do is um, you want to hit build. Um, so you want to hit build and you want to build bundles or sorry, generate signed bundles slash APK. And you want the full APK, not just the Android app bundle. So hit APK 
you do have to create a key store path. Um, you can save that anywhere. Um, I just save it right there. Key store Android APS. You can call it whatever you want. You do have to create a password. Um, in the two years that I've used Android APS, never once have I had to actually go back and you know use that. But hypothetically, you, you could. So just make sure that it is something that you will remember if you need to. Um, there we go. Okay. All right. And then what you want to do is you want the full release and then just hit create and it's running. And this will take some time on my computer. It takes a half hour, depending on your processor and graphics card. It may take longer. It may be shorter. Um, but it usually takes my computer about a half hour. So you're totally good to let this just run in the background and work on other stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll check back in once it's done. Okay, just got the notification that we were done. Um, so you just click here um, and then you want to locate that uh, APK that was just generated. Right? Okay, and it's the app full release APK. And so you got a couple options on how you can get it to your phone. Um, you can plug your phone in via USB and drop this into your phone storage. Uh, but I found the easiest way is actually just to upload it to your Google Drive. And then on your phone, open up your Google Drive and just download it to your phone. As you can see, it's not a huge file. Um, once you have it downloaded from Google Drive onto your phone, uh, your phone will probably ask you, hey, do you want Google Drive to have access to install APKs? Click yes, uh, just for this APK. Uh, always be careful when installing APKs, of course. Um, but yeah, that is it. And you'll now have the Android APS APK on your phone. Oh, so I hope you found this video helpful. Honestly, liking and subscribing helps this channel out tremendously, and I'd appreciate if you did that. Uh, but again, if you wanted to tip me as well, uh, I do have that Patreon down in the bottom. And for now, you can do all kinds of cool things like just carry around your phone to control your diabetes. And if you have an Android Wear smartwatch, uh, you can give yourself a bolus from that, inject your blood sugar and stuff, all that cool stuff. Uh, for a dedicated video on using Android Wear with Android APS, uh, I'll put a link up in the description. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please comment those down below. Hopefully this video was helpful, and we'll see you guys in the next one.